What are you doing? I'm preparing my cod. I've got all my ingredients together in individual bowls. That's called mise en place, and it's really handy when you're trying to cook and get everything together. That way you're not scattering looking for ingredients. Okay. So I'm gonna start out by adding in a, my cod, a little bit of olive oil. I just wanna rub that front and back with the olive oil. Make sure that it's nice and smooth there. And that'll help the ingredients also adhere. And now this recipe calls for some roasted garlic, which is here. And I just happened to make a salad and a bunch roasted off a bunch of garlic yesterday. So I'm gonna smash that. It takes a whole clove of roasted garlic. So this is something you need to make ahead and plan ahead for, or you can buy, I think, roasted garlic in the store now. But So you need a couple of tablespoons of roasted garlic and you just smash that up as good as it can get here and then I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients so here I'm going to add a half a lemon zested just the zest a half teaspoon of brown sugar which is an odd mix for that but it works and here is my paprika, a half teaspoon of that, and a half teaspoon of thyme, and a teaspoon of dried parsley. You can add all these ingredients in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil to this, just to bring it into place. About a tablespoon is all you need. And then you can just mix and mash this together. And get that all together. Nicely mixed and smashed. And if you notice, I haven't turned my oven on yet because the fish should stay out at room temperature while your oven is heating. It makes a nice, nicer piece of fish to bake through. All right, so here we are. It's pretty well smashed up. And give it a little bit of a, more of a mix there. And now I'm gonna add it to the top of my cod. And I'm just gonna put it on here. This actually calls for a larger piece of cod, but there's just two of us. So I'm just gonna put it all on this one piece of fish. You can never have too much garlic. No, or too much spice. And now what I wanna do before I get too far ahead is I wanna insert my probe because I wanna cook this to an internal temperature of 140 degrees and I'm gonna put this at the thickest piece of the cod right down here in the center, just like that. And then on top of this, I'm gonna add panko. Yum. Panko bread crumbs, about four tablespoons worth for two, pieces, two large pieces of fish. So I'll use not all of it this time, but most of it because it is very good on cod. For whatever reason, it's delicious. Oh shoot, might as well add it all, why not? Okay, now the last and final piece is melted butter. I melted about a tablespoon's worth of butter and I'm just going to pour it over the top of my cod, Let the, get into the panko. And I use salted butter because I think it needs some salt to this dish. Now, the fish is ready to go in the oven, so now I'm gonna start my oven at 400 degrees, and I will set the probe temperature to 140. And when the oven is ready to go, the fish will, can go in, and it'll just bake until it's done. 400, I just turned this on to 400 degrees, so it's starting to heat up. My probe is going to be set for 140, and when I plug it in, the probe will start ticking down or coming up to temperature. All right, we'll take it for a ride. Ride in the spinner. Upside down. <laughs> loves the spinner. Woohoo, the spinner! <laughs> oh. 
All right. It's like the floor mop. Put the speed. brake on. Oh, he thinks it is. All right. To the oven. And I'm going to set the probe. Go. I'll close it up. The fish is at 61, 62 degrees almost, and that'll be perfect. All right, my probe just went off at 140, and I'm going to take it out and oh, ooh, wait, hey, steam. That looks good. It does look good. Steaming away. Take my probe out first. Ooh, it's flaky. Oh, it's flaky. Don't touch it. Take it out and I'll get my probe out. Oh, it's off. Don't spill it on me. I'll put it here on the. Don't spill it on me. There you go. Look at that. That looks fantastic. It certainly does. Hold on just a second. Take some of this. Because there's no sense in wasting that. There. That's pretty good. All right. It's absolutely perfectly cooked at 140 internal temperature. Good. Plate that up. <laughs> that does look good. It looks so good. I'll plate this one up. That's perfect for us. I'm gonna steal a bit. Yum. Mm -hmm with a little bit of leftover rice, some salad, cod, and garlic toast, a little bit of lemon. Garlic croutons and, and wine. Some wine. Yum. If you like us, let us know.